Hey guys, today's story is a beautiful story about a little caterpillar and a pollywog. And they both have something very important happen to them. Have you ever wondered what you're going to be when you grow up? That's something you need to start thinking about. Start thinking about it now. But before we get into that, did you tell yourself that you were the greatest today? Did you affirm yourself, say, I am the greatest? Go ahead and say it, and then we get started. There you go. I am the greatest. This is such a beautiful story by Jack Kent. Children, go ahead and start thinking about what you want to be one day when you grow up. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamus and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. It's okay to get bigger. I think it is. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. To go from this to this beautiful butterflies. Butterflies are so beautiful. And it's not easy, just like the story tells us. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to all of her friends. When I grow up, I am going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, she said to the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things at all. The turtle was not impressed. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. It's a pollywog. What fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. What am I going to turn into? The pollywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. The pollywog is going to turn into something else one day too. The fish was so busy, he couldn't tell him what it was. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grew up, she told the pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the pollywog. You, said the caterpillar with surprise. She almost fell in the pond. The fish said so, the pollywog told her, and the fish knows everything because they go to school. Look, the, the caterpillar got upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The pollywog asked. Well, I am going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, said the pollywog. What fun! Let's do it together! All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it all alone. But I gotta do this first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how they were going to do it together. 
I'll watch you, he said. So when the caterpillar came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. Then this, then she said, this is the tricky part. It is tricky because look what she's doing. And look at him. He's watching. As she's spinning, pay attention to the polywog. Let's see what's going to happen to it. The polywog watched as the, as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now, I have to close the lid, she said. And when I come out, I'm going to be a butterfly. Go ahead, Pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight. Look how so sweet. Look how she's gone now. She's gone. For a long time, nothing happened. But the polywog was patient. He watched and he watched. What's different? Look. Can anyone tell me the difference? What's happening to the polywog? Something's happening while he's watching, guys. And he watched for days and days and days. Look. Happening. What's happening to him? At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. Look, she is beautiful. Just like she said. And what do you notice about the polywog? It's different, you guys. The polywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. I was so busy watching you, he said, I didn't notice what happened to me. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said, as she flew off to try to test out her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. Well, I thought I was supposed to be a butterfly, he said. Oh. He wanted to turn into a butterfly just like his friend. A caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog was not even listening. Why don't you think he was listening? What was he thinking about this time? He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. Hot dog. He is a handsome frog. The end. This is a beautiful story. Again, about waiting and being patient. What are you going to be when you grow up? Have you thought about what change is going to take place with you? Start thinking about what you're going to do when you graduate from college. What things do you want to do? Would you mind sharing them with Miss V and the Popcorn Kit crew? Come on and share. I want to share. A hug. And a kiss. And peace and love. See you soon, Popcorn Kit crew. Peace.